Hello everybody, Grimreaper2458 here, and welcome back to another episode of Nerf Thrifting. Today I have some pretty cool finds, one really interesting find, and a couple uh, not Nerf stuff. Uh, I've been thrifting stuff for the last couple of days, or weeks I should say, because I've had some stuff here that I haven't shown off because I forgot to. Uh, that's on me, <coughs> and a lot going on in life right now. Uh, sorry about the background noise, not much I can do about it. So let's just get into the interesting parts. I found a Recon Mark II with a 6 round mag. And for those of you asking, it is not the first gen recalled version. It does have the slot for the 18 sticks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, when the Recon Mark II was first released, um, this didn't ex didn't have, or the, the Recon Mark II did not have this little bump here for 18 sticks or any kind of mag with a bump on the end here. I'll show you what I mean by that. So any kind of magazine with this little bump here uh, would not work in the first gen. And then if you sent it back to Hasbro, they would send you one that does take this. So basically this would be squared off here. You could only use 10-run uh, mags, 12-run mags, or 6-run mags. It did come with a 6-run mag, and it was $4. I have some plans to integrate this <coughs> front section into a Retalicon because I like this handle and grip guard combination, or I might use uh, the back half for the Retalicon itself. We'll have to see in the future. Our next find is another buzzsaw. Um, the main reason I got this was for this bit right here. Because on this integration, the front of it um, is very, very damaged and old. It's more yellow than it is orange, and it has some frays. This one's in very nice condition, and I can always use the shell because I want to integrate the shell into an upcoming project I have that would look really nice with this alien kind of style shell because the, the buzzsaw has some very nice lines in it, and it's got a big old hole for the balls that will go in here. It's like some medium sized green balls that you put in. And headphone warning, this is going to be very loud. So you'd wind it up, you'd have to wind it up a whole lot more. And this wheel would spin, and then this would, you pull the trigger and it would push the balls out. Basically, uh, one of Nerf's first, not the first, but one of Nerf's first uh, semi-automatic flywheel powered blasters. I mainly got it for parts, and it cost me $2.99. Alright, so next thing up um, is very, very strange. Here I have a sled fire, which I've never owned a sled fire. And when I saw it, I knew I wanted it. It didn't come with any shells. As you can see. <coughs> and it's in very nice shape. And I paid six bucks for it. But what makes this very, very interesting is when I flip it over. You can see something's a little bit off. That signature right there, to Chris Nerfon Drac, is an official Drac signature. It's not forged. I asked Spam Ma'am, Spam Man, if I can pronounce that guy's name right, and Addy of Foam Blast, and they confirmed that it was his signature. The Fang is a little uh, rushed, they called it. And I did not notice that when I bought this, because it had a whole bunch of stickers and junk on it, which I removed. But I thought it was very, very interesting that something at Goodwill has a uh, Drac signature on it. It's a very interesting story that I wish I could tell, but I don't have any deets on. So that's the end of the Nerf finds. Um, if you don't, do not know me outside of Nerf, I do collect old Nintendo stuff. 
One of these things was a Nintendo Max controller for the NES. Back in, let's see, 88, so probably 89, this released. Um, if you know the original NES controller, which is a big rectangle brick, um, a lot of people complained about how the corners would dig into their hands. And so they made the NES Max controller. So the Max controller has this weird, like, 3DS joystick on it. But in order to press the buttons, you have to really press on here. All this is is just a guide to the D-pad. And then you got your regular buttons here. And then you have this thing called the turbo button. So if you hold this down, it's the same as repeatedly pressing the B button or the A button. You got your start and select. There's your NES Max. The back of it is unfortunately yellowed. I don't know how well you can see that. And the cord's not in the best of shape. It's not going to want to focus. It looks like some a dog <laughs> probably got it. Or a cat probably had some fun with the controller. Uh, not in how we would have fun with the controller. As you can see it has the uh, NES controller port. And I got it for collector's sake. As in I want to collect most of the accessories for the NES. Which I know a lot of them are rare and expensive. But this was just a nice thing to get because it was, only, it was pretty cheap. I won't say any of the prices of the the stuff I uh, show off here because I know some people are very judgmental of prices, which is unfortunate. So, and then I got Super Mario Brothers 2 for the NES. And I'm covering a price tag here and I tried not to show off the price tag here, but looks pretty clean down there I did open it up and oh well whatever I don't really care I did open it up and clean it and took off a whole bunch of dirt on the inside here there's a whole bunch of uh, dust dirt and hair and disgustingness and it now plays plays actually pretty nice and I played it on my original NES. And the last things I found today were these things which I have no idea why these were at Goodwill. They're like they're not posters. They're like promotional artwork for the games for the Switch games and they were a buck 99 a piece. I got these for a friend, because he's into the Switch stuff. I thought they'd be neat to just hang up or just have. They had a whole bunch of the Super Smash Brothers ones, they only had one of the Zelda ones. I thought it, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I thought it was really weird that they had these at the store, instead of like GameStop just throwing them out, because they look like they're promotional. It's very strange. Alright. That is the finds of this week. We got some very interesting finds. I will not carve this up or change that in any way. Let's get this in frame. I hope you liked this video. Uh, took a little while to make a video because of just life in general, but I hope the, this is kind of interesting to some people. I know not many people are into Nintendo stuff, or like the retro Nintendo stuff. Uh, that's the video. Have any comments, suggestions, concerns, put them in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video.